Hi guys, it's Jody. First and foremost, Happy New Year. We made it to the new year. I hope uh, I hope everyone had a safe and warm New Year's. Today I uh, want to do something a little crazy. <laughs> I want my first video of the new year to be a little bit chaotic and I just want to have some fun. I've got an idea in my head and we all know how that works, but uh, I want to give it a go and I will explain more as we get into the video. So let's go get started having some fun. All right, for today's piece, I've got a 14 by 14 square standard canvas, and I'm going to run through all the colors really quick, the cell activator and the pillow, and then I will kind of give you an idea of what uh, we're going to do here before we start to paint. So the first color I have, it's actually a new, this little piggy pigment that's going to be coming out in the next release. I don't have uh, that date yet, but when I do, I will definitely let you know. This is a... Uh, it's kind of a fluorescent orange. It's a little bit lighter. They do have another fluorescent orange that is a bit deeper, but this one is called the Mosh. Anyway, that's what that looks like. This is the Dutch, Dutch Boy Joe Sonia pouring medium. Yeah. Next color I have, and then all the rest of the colors are mixed up with the Valspar Varathane pouring medium. The next color I have is my favorite, uh, the Studio Acrylics PBO Iridescent Blue Green. I've got just a little bit left of this there's that consistency and then i've got the utrecht fluid acrylics the red violet and there's a, i have got the golden fluid iridescent bright gold probably one of my most favorite golds and there's what that one is mixed up and then i've got the uh vallejo fluid acrylic this is the fluorescent pink and here's the consistency of that and then finally i've got joe sonia's black umber been mixed up for a while but there's that consistency all right my cell activators because we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing kind of two different things on here. I'm gonna use two different cell activators or three. I haven't decided yet, so I'm just gonna show you all three, and whether I use them all will remain to be seen. So this is the uh, the PBO iridescent precious gold that you've seen me use in the and uh, I think a few videos back. This is mixed with the Australian Floetrol. And then I have the uh, my titanium white. This is the Atelier Interactive mixed with the Australian Floetrol. And then finally, a new one I have mixed up, which is Atelier Interactive. This is Prussian Blue. This is what the tube looks like. But that's what this... I've not, I have not used this yet as a cell activator, so I'm curious. I might use it and I might not. But this is also mixed up with Australian Floetrol, all of them at four to one, four parts of the Australian Floetrol, one part paint. Now my pillow is going to, and I'm not going to lay it down just yet because I wanted to explain what we were going to do, but my pillow is the Glidden Premium in Satin, my usual. So what I want to do here, you know, when I was doing the floating blooms on the records, I kind of put uh, a background color in a circle. And so I thought I kind of wanted to do something like that. But I want to, I want to, I want to do swipes. I want to do one, two, three, four, because since this is a square, and I kind of wanted to incorporate the background just a little bit differently, and then we're going to bloom in the center. It's going to be kind of a, a floating bloom, and I'll, you know, bring out the petals a little bit uh, with the palette knives if uh, if it looks like it's going that way. But <laughs> this is the idea in my head. As we all know how ideas work in your head, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But this is what I'm going for. So now I'm going to lay down the pillow really quick and I will be right back. All right. I've spread out the pillow just all the way. Uh, even though we're going to bloom in the center, we're going to swipe on the kind of like outside of there. I'm going to use this swipe tool and I'm going to do palette knife swipes just to make it easier and save on time a little bit. I'm going to be using these two colors um, in the swipe and I'm going to use the gold cell activator like so. And I think I'm just going to go right here. Doesn't have to be perfect.
a like in that. Now I didn't, I didn't need it perfect and full of cells. I really wanted kind of like just the color and a background because we're going to bloom right in here and then we're going to kind of blow out. I've got the first, oops, the first color, which is the, this little piggy amash. I'm going to try and do just a little, keep it to about that size, my my paint and then I've got the iridescent blue green the PBO all right then I've got the red violet And then I've got the iridescent bright gold. And then I've got the pink. Just going to do a little. And just a little bit of the black umber. All right, not too much. All right, I've got my camera up high because this is a bigger canvas. So I'm my head's going to be in the way just for a, a little bit here while I blow this out. I think what I want to do, I'm going to put just a little bit of this, uh, the Prussian blue cell activator, and then I'm going to put the white on top of it. Just like so. I'm gonna leave that. I kind of I'm really liking how this is, this has blown out. Again, sorry for my head in the way. All right, this looks pretty dang cool. I want to do some modifications. So let's see. I need to be mindful of the background. I am going to pull some stuff out too. All right, I am super digging what is happening here. Back in the center a little. All right, I think I'm good. I'm gonna meet you over at the spinner box and we are gonna see what comes of this. All right, so I think, I think I'm centered pretty good. I am just gonna give this a spin and we're going to see what happens. Get this to open up. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. That is so cool. All right, I need to spin it again. I gotta get this. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. It's a psychedelic flower. I gotta do another spin though. I gotta get this background to go over. Whoops. Wow, yeah. <laughs> it is so busy. I love it so much. <laughs> this is so psychedelic. All right. Just about there, I think. I'm not getting a lot of movement. And I love how chaotic it is. I really wanted something a little bit chaotic like this. And I love that that mosh is coming through. That was, that was my hope, was that it was coming through in the middle there. And I believe this will glow under a black light. Whoops. Oh, so cool. Let's see, I think I've got enough paint off. I just want to do one more little. Oops. I think we're good there. I think we are just about there. Yeah, that really opened up the middle too. And I wanted the little tendrils to kind of go off, just to peek off. <clears throat> and I wanted to make sure the background, that the white that was up here is off too. Whew, yeah. All right, here's what that looks like. I am gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this one. All right, here is the flyover. <laughs> So super chaotic. I absolutely love it. But there's a lot of shimmer in here from that from the golds I used. But I just love how I just love the flow of this bloom. I mean, and just the colors are so it's it's very psychedelic and very chaotic. But the background actually kind of did what I wanted it to. I I wanted a little bit more selves, but I am I really like how it just I mean it looks like well, a swipe, <laughs> the way a swipe would look, just the uh, the movement of the swipe. But there is a lot of subtle shimmers in there in all these cells. Oh, I just love it. Love, love, love. This is my favorite right, right there. That's my favorite swirl. That one too. But then I love all these little these cells on the corner, the hanger honors. They're kind of going over the side too. I love that. <laughs> this is so super cool. I am totally digging this. Let's turn on the black light and see what it looks like. Yep. Definitely glows under a black light. So super cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it looks like that that flower is glowing from within. That is so super cool. You don't get a lot of the pink on the outside, which I'm okay with. I was really uh, going for the mosh. So there is that. I will be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the fun piece we just did. And it, <laughs> it, was, it got a little crazy, but it just dried beautifully. And I'm so excited about this. I mean, it, I, I had kind of a chaotic image in my head where it was just going to be a little bit crazy in the background and that bloom popping through. And it, it actually did what I wanted it to do. So I'm really excited to show you how it dried because it just dried like a dream. So let me flip you around and I will show you how it dried. All right, here it is as a whole before I start moving in and show you the details. And there are some really neat, subtle shimmers in there. But I, I love how the background is chaotic and then the bloom just kind of pops through like, here I am. <laughs> so let me move you in closer here and I didn't I don't mind that there's not a lot of cells I really just like the movement in the background but this bloom and all these cells that pop through are just gorgeous 
And I'm, I'm really happy that I actually, uh, I used that uh, Prussian blue cell activator. I wasn't sure about it, but I really, I like the blue that it made in there. And kind of added to it. And this yellow is actually that mosh, that, uh, this little piggy mosh. I love some, of, I love the, the, some of these kind of background cells. I'm just kind of going around the edges. These are probably some of my favorite. I love when tiny little cells just kind of peek out like that. But let me bring you in. I got a lot of little of those microscopic cells. And if you know me, you know how much I love them. And this does glow under a black light. <laughs> let me pick it up and show you if I can get, yeah, that gold in there. It's just gorgeous. So excited about this piece. I'm going to flip you back around. I'll give you my final thoughts. Yeah, I had to really quick. I just needed to show you that it did glow. I mean, it just looks like the, the flower portion is just glowing. I love it. So it glows under a black light too. All right. <laughs> that was really a lot of fun to do. I, uh, again, I, I mean, I, I love the chaos of all of it. I know it's not for everybody and the colors may be a little weird, but I love it so much. I, I really like the idea of doing, you know, swiping on some kind of a background for these floating blooms. You know, maybe it could be a little bit more um, subdued and then having the, the flower jump out even more. This was kind of it didn't jump out as much as I wanted it to, but I kind of liked it that way. I loved the movement of everything. So <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this piece. Or if you've tried something, something uh, similar, let me, let me know in the comments below. So uh, with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.